Just Mr. Green is recognized for five minutes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. I greatly appreciate the opportunity to be heard. And I greatly appreciate the staff uh, for what they've done to assist with what I'm about to bring to the attention of our committee. Um, HR 123, the Alternative Data for Additional Credit, FHA Pilot Program Reauthorization Act. Uh, this uh, is something that we were successful with. It became Section 2124 of the Housing and Economic Recovery Act of 2008. Uh, it uh, did not get funded. And as a result, um, we are bringing this back because we believe this would be something that should be funded and it will be of great benefit. And I'm appealing to all of my Republican friends across the aisle from me, all of them. I'm willing to work with uh, all or anyone who'd like to work with me on this. Uh, I am uh, very much interested in being bipartisan, uh, very much interested in working with people, regardless as to who they are. So if someone would like to work with me on this project, I would greatly appreciate your making yourself known to me. Um, <clears throat> more specifically, uh, we know that in this country, depending on who's counting and how you count, we have about 45 million people who are credit invisible or unscorable. And as a result, uh, they don't get the opportunity to make the purchases that many of us take for granted. Uh, this piece of legislation would allow your light bill, gas bill, water bill, phone bill, cable bill, your utilities to be scored. Mr. Greer, you've spoken of this, uh, these utilities being scored. Uh, this bill allows you to opt in and score these utilities. And if they benefit you, then you can take advantage of that benefit and have the credit that most of us take for granted. Uh, so I ask you, Mr. Greer, HR 123, uh, give me your thoughts on what I'm sharing with you at this time in terms of doing this, uh, making this uh, change such that we can do this with HUD. HUD would be the, have the pilot program and we would use a commercially available credit reporting model. Your thoughts, Mr. Greer. Thank you, Mr. Green, for um, raising that for your work on this um, that, this important issue. I say one, you 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 emphasize the importance of opting in. I think that's a big um, important point, and that consumers should have the choice around what data is being used to um, assess their their credit score. The second point on that that I'd like to make is, you know, a lot of this conversation about alternative data. It's already a part of the system. It's just that the negative stuff is what is being reported. Um, if you don't pay your utility bill, it gets reported. If you don't pay your cell phone bill, it gets reported. So what, what I'd like to see is if we're gonna use alternative data, let's make sure that we're bringing in the positive payments. Because you know if I miss a payment on my um, utility bill or my utility gets cut off, I'm gonna get dinged for that. But what's not gonna show up is the many months beforehand that I paid my utility bill on time. And I think that it's important, one, that we opt in and that we make sure that we're reporting the positive activity that is happening with people as in addition to the negative activity that's already being reported. And let me add something. Um, <clears throat> we would also uh, want to make sure that people understand that this is additional credit, not just alternative, meaning we'll take this in lieu of other things. Uh, this is additional credit that can be added to your credit score to help you. Ms. Uh, Tarb, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, would you comment on this as well? Because you did bring up the, the need for uh, this type of credit scoring. Oh, is this a credit? Is this is a question for me? Yes, ma'am. Alternative data. Yes, I think it's important that consumers be able to opt in to using alternative types of data, as Mr. Greer said. I also think that a public credit registry could look into which types of data it's inappropriate to include. For example, medical debt has been shown, and we should do more studies to show this more conclusively, not to be predictive of people's ability to pay other types of debt. When someone takes on a mortgage or a credit card, they have a chance to think about what are the terms? Do I want to take on this debt? When you are sick or your child is sick and needs medical care, needs to go into the hospital, you don't know how much it's going to cost. You may not care how much it's going to cost at that point. You just want your loved one to get the care they need and be okay. And then you're saddled with 
hundreds, thousands, maybe even millions of dollars in medical debt? Should uh, my that time go is on your credit about report? to expire, ma'am. Let me just ask you, uh, without you. question, reservation, or hesitation, you do agree that additional credit scoring is important, uh, what you're calling alternative credit scoring? Yes, I think we need to look at different things that should be included and excluded from credit scores to make them more fair and predictive. All right, well, thank you very much. I yield back the balance of my time. I believe my time is uh, over. Gentleman's Mr. time Chair. has expired and he yields back. Gentleman from Missouri, Mr. Luke DeMeyer is now recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 